everybody, it's Rhonda. I know I haven't done a video in a very long time, but I do have 50 subscribers. I got up to 50, so that's awesome. Um, let's just keep that ball rolling. Let's get some more people subscribed on here. So please share my video if you really like it and all that. Um, I want to post a lot more videos about things I do, um, how I decorate my home, because as you can see, I did a great coffee bar. And to be honest, most of it is thrifted. Um, a lot of my style has changed. I have learned to add different things to the home. I was a major Radun hunter. So as you can see, I don't have that many Radun pieces anymore. I had a lot. I have a ton. I used to have a ton. So that was just something I just did not want to collect anymore. Um, it got so competitive and it was just, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. Um, my raid on story maybe i'll do that sometime but um yeah so now i just thrift i go i like the thrill of the hunt still but um the great thing about it is that i can find vintage items that i can add to my home and kind of give it a more unique um look so how i want to start this video is basically all of my thrift finds that i found you know going to goodwill and um we have a store that's um close to us and it's called Desert Industries, I think is how you pronounce it, but don't, I, I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it, but I thrift there a lot. I thrift there a ton. And um, our new Goodwill just opened, so I've been checking there a lot as well. And just going to other places like Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Hobby Lobby to find other pieces that I can add to fill in the gaps and stuff. But um, yeah, so you know, life happened. I got a part-time job, so I'm liking that. I've worked there since October to you know help with bills and pay for extra things that we need around the house. Um, with my business, things kind of went downhill a bit with um, the pandemic happening, so I wasn't able to fully put myself into the business. But um, I kind of want to start a new channel for that and kind of get involved my story getting back into my business um if you don't know i make um jewelry on the side so i've been doing that since 2012 and i just kind of lost passion for it for a while but um now i'm ready to jump back in and get into it so i would love your help in that and your support so once i get that that channel going i will link it and let you guys know but um this is just a channel that i want to do for all of the things in my home and everything that we have here and i also want to do thrifted videos on clothes i wear like this is an outfit that i purchased from um desert industries we'll call it di that's that's what i always say so yeah this is an outfit i got there it's from target it's um I forgot the brand, but um, I, I will let you know that in my other video and I will do kind of like a style with me um, thrifted clothes that I found. But to start, let's get into what I've thrifted here. Um, let's see, where do we start? Let's start with non-thrifted items. So let's do like Hobby Lobby. So one of the items that I found was here at Walmart, actually. I bought these um, succulent picks and they I bought two of them. And this is what they look like. They're very tall. I think they're called string of pearls. And these were only $5.44 each. So my idea for this was to put it into a vase that I found at um, DI. And I bought it for, uh, I don't know if you can see there, but I bought it for $4. So this is kind of a nice tall vase. As you can see, it is huge takes up almost all of the screen but how i want to style this is this goes in my bathroom so by the bathtub so this is why i bought this Oops, trying to get it. but yeah i just like the way this looks it's perfect it's beautiful and i love how long it is as well so this is definitely one of my favorite finds. And altogether, this whole thing, thrifted and even found at Walmart, was what, $15? So not too bad at all. Not too bad. And I'm pretty sure you can find vases like that at um, all these other stores, um, like Target, Walmart, um, you know, just anywhere that you can do a lot of your shopping at to go for that boho vibe. 
Um, next, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these three little picks. They're succulent picks. So these were on clearance. They were 99 cents each. I don't know if you can see the price there. It's just more focusing on me. <laughs> but I got three of these for 99 cents. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to style these. But um, I did find these at DEI. So I was thinking maybe putting them in here. Oh, they're kind of a little top heavy. So we'll have to figure that out. And I did find three of them. And these were a dollar each. I love these little vases just because of how chunky they are on the top. If you can see that there, it still does not want to focus in right, but yeah, they're really chunky there. So you can see how wide the rim is on these. So this is what I, I love these. I was so happy to find those. And these I've put into my room and I'll do a clip in here in a bit of how I style all of these little vases that I found. And this one I found at DI as well. It's a little small white one with a um, chunky rounded tip as well. And this one was 75 cents. And then this is another vase that I found. And this one was $1.50. This is kind of more an opal and this is like a solid white. So this one you can see here, it has a chunky rim as well. So I don't know, maybe someone donated all these and kind of had the same idea I did. So. I'm kind of really happy I found these. I kind of want to put either some florals or either some more succulents in there. That would be pretty next to my bed. So I have those. Um, some other things that I found was this little pot. I added the succulent after and it is so pretty. It has the sun there and it's kind of like um, clay pottery. So I am bad at keeping plants alive. I don't know if some of you are like that, but um, these guys were suffering in a little other vase, two other small vases I had, and I just repotted it and put it in here. So hopefully they survive. <laughs> um, I don't know what the, it says, this pot is Benson West Designs, so. I just reuse it as a pot, so that looks really cute. And how I style this one is I love this um, style of vases, and they're from Lennox, they're vintage Lennox. And this is the Woodland series, so this one has a little, like, suffer a bud. And I put a succulent in here, so I'll show you that, how I style that in the room. And here's just what the pattern looks like. It is so pretty. And these are both um, vintage Lennox, so they're very beautiful. I have two more Lennox pieces. Um, one is, I found this for a dollar. Oh, I found those for a dollar each. I think I already took the stickers off them. Another one that I found was a swan, and this one was also a dollar. So this one is so pretty as well. I just love how light and beautiful these pieces are and the workmanship of, ship of them. So they're really cute. This one, I'm also thinking of um, reselling some of these pieces that I don't use. Like this is another vintage Lennox um, single bud vase I found. And it's like a blush pink. So this would look pretty with any like boho um, decor. So this one I found for a dollar. So I'm thinking of listing this one either on my Macari page or on my Etsy shop. So yeah, this one's really pretty as well. Another little mini bud vase I found from DI was this little vintage um, Arizona souvenir little bud vase. Kind of hard to see the design on there. Hopefully this will catch it. There you go. So this is what this one looks like. And this one I got for 75 cents. So it pairs well with my Lennox pieces. So I'm very happy with that. And 
Okay, so this was not supposed to happen. This was not something I wanted to start collecting, but I started finding it. It started with one. It started with one. And it was this little, what do you call these things? Um, paperweight. Yeah, it's a paperweight. And that is the design. It looks like a little jellyfish, but it looks like a flower. I don't know if you can kind of see that pattern there. But this one was $1.50 and I found it at DI and it was so pretty that, you know, I was like, oh, it's, it's cute, you know, I'll get it. And then the next time I went, I found another one. And this is what that one looks like. Just clear with a lot of colors in there. So this is the second paperweight I found. So there's two. And then I found another one. <laughs> And this one's almost identical to this one here. It's weird finding them at the same place, but yeah, I, I found this guy too. And this one was a dollar, a dollar. So it's almost similar to the first one I found, just little differences, but that's what makes them different and unique. I put them in my little um, bookcase next to my bed, so I'll show you how I style those as well in a clip pretty soon. And this one was so adorable. This one's a, a turtle. As you can see here, it's like a mama turtle with two baby turtles on there. So I have two kids. Um, one is 18. Well, he's not a kid now. He's an adult. <laughs> but uh, and Jasmine, she's um, 16. So this one I got for a dollar fifty. So this one's cute and adorable as well. So right now I have four paperweights in my collection. <laughs> so hopefully I don't get too crazy and. You know <laughs> just wanted to I've never styled paperweight so I it was a challenge and I like where I put them in the house so that's pretty exciting <laughs> um, another piece that I found at DI was a dollar fifty and it's this um, little jar it's from Pottery Barn it's labeled uh, crystal inkwell canister from Pottery Barn and it opens up here so I still don't know how I'm gonna style this one or what I'm gonna put in there but um, this was cute it definitely goes with the farmhouse or um, boho vibe or you know old school so <laughs> I'm loving this one as well let's see oh uh, one of my favorite finds was this little jar here it's very vintage it's made in Japan and he's so cute opens up here it does have some you know chipping on the paint here but that's normal to find in some of these pieces so it's just so cute and this one is stamp Japan I don't know if you can see that there if you can focus on it there it is it's so cute so this I have in my little bookcase by the bed so it's one of my favorite pieces that I have I considered selling it at some point but you know I just wanted to you can sell this cute adorable little face so cute <laughs> let's see what I have next I found this face and I paid three dollars for it I thought it was really neat this is probably a piece I will sell locally um I love the mouth of it <laughs> looks like it's gonna eat you <laughs> but um yeah the design on it is beautiful it's definitely some art glass and here's the back of it so pretty I love this thing, but I just don't know where to put it. But um, yeah, so one of these pieces I'll probably resell and um, offer it to somebody else who would love it for their home. Um, let's see, what, where to start next? Okay, I did thrift these pillows from DI, and this one's a little thumper pillow. So cute. I got this for $2, and he sits on our little sofa couch. And I also bought this pillow to match him. And this one I got for $3. So 
So our little sofa couch is by our bed. So I thought they went beautiful together. So those are cute. I am addicted to pillows. I have a ton of pillows and my family will let you know that, that yes, the addiction is real. So yes, pill I'm a, a, a hoarder of pillows, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, some other things that I found was this little cow head. It's so cute. It's like ceramic, so you're able to hang them up on the wall. So I was thinking of hanging them up here in the coffee bar or put them in the kitchen. So we shall see where this guy goes. He's so cute. More cow-related items that I found were these bookends that I thrifted from DI as well. And, oh, the cow guy, he was a dollar. So these bookends, they come up right here. <laughs> so funny so here's what the cow looks like looks like um <laughs> when you do those magic tricks and you put a knife through it and you're like oops <laughs> but um this cow is so cute and each one of them I found I got them for a dollar each I don't know if you can see the price there but yeah so two dollars for two wooden bookends not too bad not too bad and he even has a cute little tail on the butt part <laughs> so I love those cows to go with that theme, I found this for a dollar at DI, and it is just a little metal um, cup, and it's from Target, the Hearth and Hand enamelware um, cup from Magnolia Home. I've transitioned a lot of my pieces to Target and Magnolia Home, and you know, adding it with my vintage items. So that's what I love about it. Like I sold all my Raiden canisters. I can't believe it, but yeah, I sold all my basics, my coffee, sugar, rice, I had it all, I had it all. So I switched over to the hearth and hand, or no, threshold, the threshold jar. So I, I'll do a video on that too, of transforming what my kitchen looks like to how it looked before. So that would be kind of fun to do as well. And this was an amazing find. Um, I had just seen this sitting on top of the shelf at DI and I was like, what is that? So it is, I don't know exactly like what kind of um, pottery this is, but it's very unique and it's very different. So I'll have you take a look at the design here. So this is what it looks like. And it has a little stuff in here. Ooh. And there's the inside of it. And this is the person who made it so the crazy thing is I looked up comps on this I looked it up and this bottle sold for two hundred and ninety five dollars so I don't know if you can see the tag here Let's see if I can get you to see this there so this is how much it was purchased for back in New York in the um, gallery. So it was $295 and it's, oh, inlaid porcelain is what it is. That's what this other tag says. So these were found inside of it. And when I went to look on online at some comps of how much this costs, just this one costs $495, $495. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But it's a piece I like, and this one comes with a little stopper, so, and I only pay $3 for this. So I thought this was a great find. I have found some other, <laughs> um, like, gallery pieces that people have donated, so I'm really happy with this one, and that's one I would like to keep. Talking about other unique um, artists and stuff, I did find this one, which is from Peru, and it's really unique piece that I like it's cute so this one um, it is from Peru and the person is um, Benito I think is what it is but um, I'll put the artist's name on here and you can see what the comps are for that some other pieces that I found here are pieces I'll probably put in my um, Macari shop or my Etsy shop and when is this one is a little donkey planter, and this one I got for a dollar. So, this is too busy focusing on me, but this is what the planter looks like. Very vintage, really cute. So, that's what that little guy is. Oh, and this one I got for a dollar too, so 
kind of a great, great little find there. And I love little glass items. So this one I found is a turtle, and he's a dollar fifty. So that's what he looks like. Really cute. I love this little guy. I found a glass horse. These are uh, lead crystal, and this one's a pretty horse there. And this one was uh, two dollars. Really pretty. Love this little guy. I found a cat. And this one is so cute. It's a blue cat sleeping away there. And just look at the design on here. So pretty. So this one I found for $1.50 and this one was um, made in China. So cute, adorable blue cat. Another thing that I found was um, this Saddler. A uh, tea, tea kettle, teapot, and this is a day at the roses. Lots of detail on this one. No chipping or anything like that. And this one I found for two dollars. So this was a cute find as well. I did find um, two vintage bunnies. I don't know if I'm going to sell these guys or keep them for myself, but um, this is a gal bunny here. She's carrying a little purse. It's so cute and adorable. And here's her little boyfriend. <laughs> He's got a little um, parasol here. So on <laughs> rainy days, they'll be good to go. They're, they're just so cute. And um, they were $2 each. So love these guys. So cute. And they have stickers, which is made in China on the bottom. So love them as well i did find a basket and this is like a picnic basket figure you know taking the dogs on a walk and you decide to have a snack this will be cute and this was three dollars so it's a really neat basket not too big not too bulky so love this basket and i found some tea towels which i thought were cute they were a dollar each, and it says spoon on here, so I don't know where these are found at, but um, they have little coffee guys on there. So these were a dollar each. There's this one here. No, no stains or nothing wrong with them at all. They're just cute and would look cute in the kitchen. And here's the other one I got. It's just a plain white, and it has a picture of the little coffee. And this one was a dollar as well. Two other vintage items I found that I'm definitely going to list on Macari or Etsy is Garfield. I don't know how many of you guys know who Garfield is, but <laughs> this is a pillowcase. And it's so cute. There's no stains, no rips, nothing. Looks like it was never used. And it is from 1978. So this pillowcase is older than me by one year. <laughs> That just shows you how old I am. <laughs> but um also found these uh precious moments, which is nineteen ninety. This was two dollars, so it came with two little paw holders and they're so cute. No stains, no rips, or anything. Looks like no one even used these as well, so these will definitely go in my shop. So be on the lookout for that. And let's see what else I got. Oh, I got two more items here. Well, and then I'll show you something that we went to this morning. But um, I found this little carafe. It's not as, I, I, I thrifted some taller ones, but this one's kind of a, a teeny one and I like it. So I can just make um, cold brew coffee. I don't know who makes this one. It's not labeled or anything, but more than likely it's probably um, Anchor Hawking or Pyrex or somewhere along those lines or okay so I'm back I don't know something happened to my camera I just decided to get busy and just shut off so we'll just continue where I left off from my little haul here I don't think it's little anymore I think that's just a lot of stuff that I have at this point but um I forgot what I was going to show you um I did show you this oh the other thing I got was a magic eight ball 
anyone ever have these as a child i know i always wanted one and i always loved magic eight balls and this one's still in the box i purchased this guy for a dollar fifty so it's kind of cool so maybe we should ask it a question let's see will i get to 100 subscribers let's find out uh where's the thing at concentrate and ask again okay okay let's do this one more time here will i get to 100 subscribers this year mm. oh don't count on it that's just rude well i guess he knows that also should i even continue this video or should i just keep going um so i guess we're not making it to 100 subscribers according to the magic eight ball so that's just rude rude <laughs> okay so this morning um it's saturday um me and my husband we went to i think it's the i don't think it's the mommy made market. it's a made market in gilbert arizona and we found some things that we really wanted to share with you a few of the things we purchased i'll put the um, shop's information so maybe if you're interested the first one we shopped from is called Arizona Soap Bar, and it is menthol eucalyptus shower steamers. We were talking to the owner there, and he recommended these for when you have allergies. So we're pretty excited to pick these up. It's um, a packet of eight, and there are 20 little shower bombs in here. He did warn us when he, like, made us smell it and stuff like go in slowly don't go too fast you can get a big whiff of it so we're pretty excited to try these out this was my husband's purchase he was really excited to get these so that is one thing we got there and some other things that we picked up are a cookie that we got from this company it's called benny's i think it's called b-e-a-n Oh, B E A H N I E S A Z. So this is a chocolate, um, orange, not chocolate, <laughs> orange creamsicle cookie. So that's what that looks like. So this was my husband's pick. And I picked up the pineapple coconut push pop. And that is what that looks like. It looks like all sorts of yumminess in here. So it's just a push pop with some cookies, and not cookies, cake. So this looks really good. So I can't wait to try this one. So, yeah. so that's what we got from there. And we will try those goodies later. We got a few more things. I love shopping small because I'm a small business myself. And it's good to help support these guys in everything that they do and all that they do. I did a... Um, a market back in before Christmas time and we met this gal who makes these amazing cookies and this is her her name's Michelle and this is her business card I don't know if it'll focus in there but um we purchased cookies twice from her so far the first ones we got were um, Forky and the ones we got for our kids this time around for their baskets are these Among Us cookies for Easter and one is orange and one is yellow one for my son and one for my daughter like I said my kids are 18 and 16 but um they still love little things like this so we're gonna put this in their little baskets um, another thing that we found were these um, stickers vinyl stickers um, my husband picked up this one and it says dog dad and I picked up this one, which is Dog Mom. <laughs> and the person who made this one is called, um, their business is Lucky Stars Handmade Bandanas. And I'll put their information down below as well. They, they sell like dog bandanas for dogs and all these other cute little things. So definitely we'll add that on there. Another thing that I purchased was from Silver, Silverella Knots. And I will put her information in there as well. And it's this little oil diffuser that you can put in your vehicle. And I love the colors on this. So pretty. So this is going in my vehicle. I'm going to hang it in the rear view mirror and add some oils on there. 
I did have her custom make me a keychain that will match this so that should be coming next week so I'm pretty excited about that so this was another good purchase I I'm happy about <laughs> there's just these ladies who um, work not work there but you know they sell things there and let me see if I can find their business card if I know where I put it oh, there's my business card in here but um they sell these buttons and these were things that were given away for free to people who are coming in and they made button flowers so this is so cute I don't know if you can see that but yeah it's a little button flower and they make um they're called the button art company and this is their business card let's see here kind of hard to see it but I'll, I'll just leave the information in the description bar but um they make really cute um wall hangings for made out of buttons which is an amazing idea so cute mm, let's see i think i have another box here or bag. another thing that we bought my husband purchased and <laughs> this one's so cute it says coffee makes me feel less murdery <laughs> so this is his coffee mug since we got rid of a lot of our radon mugs i swear to you guys i had over had to been 250 mugs so now i've weaned it down to probably about 60 that includes all of my christmas um halloween uh regular mugs and all that so we just been making different mugs here a lot of my mugs have changed to baby yoda <laughs> this is one of my favorite Here's another one here. My daughter got me this one. So it's just nice to add different things to the home. Each one of us have, it's a part of our personality. Like I get the Raydon mugs and what they say and what they mean and stuff, but it's nice to just pick up something that is more unique like this. So this one we got for my husband, it was $10. And um, I'll leave the, I don't think I grabbed a business card, but I'm sure I can find the person who made this. So. So cute and adorable and it's kind of like a gray coffee mug which is kind of his vibe <laughs> but um other than that that was my haul and everything I have and that I've been purchasing I have a ton more things so just be on the lookout for that and I will be including more pictures and photos of how I style all this which you'll probably already see in the video once I edit it but um, I just wanted to say thank you for helping me get to 50 subscribers and that's awesome, that's amazing, that's a, definitely a goal that I had set for myself a while back and let's get to 100. I mean, that would be fun, that would be amazing if we could get to 100, um, but I'm not going to listen to the Magic 8 Ball, he's not, he's not really nice right now. So maybe because his owners gave him up, you know? And he's sad, so, but he's going to be happy here with us now. He just needs to be nice. <laughs> but um, other than that, I just wanted to say thanks. And I'll catch you on my next video. And the next one will be clothes that I've thrifted. And I'll show you how I style it. And we'll go from there. You guys have a good day. Bye. Okay, so I'm in my room now. And I wanted to show you guys a clip. Like how I said I was going to throw in my Baby Yoda collection. But yeah, I have Squishmallows. I have a bunch of just plushies of Baby Yoda. Rogu to be more exact. But um, yeah, this is the big guy. Look how big he is. <laughs> My kids got me this for Christmas this year. So he is so cute. He takes up almost a whole king size bed. And yeah, this is me and Rogu. I don't even, he can't even sleep, it's like a big pillow. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's the end of this video, and you get to see all the groceries. So, yeah, he's super huge. So, I just wanted to share that with you, and hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye!